passenger and it gives him like a report that he can do directly from the front seat of his car. Yeah, we talked to him earlier. He actually had that car in park, and it looks like he's actually stepped uh -oh. out of the car. Are you locked out of the car, Scott? What's going on? Help! Oh, this is so bad. Help! Um, yeah, I got out of the car to uh, get the ice off the windshield wipers. The keys are sitting in the ignition right there, and uh, somehow the door locked. So um, I'm locked out, and so I'm reporting through a window. All my gear is still turned on, the car is still running, and I can't get in. This is really bad. Oh, boy. Okay, well, this is a, it is a solvable problem, so I'll start dealing with that in just a moment. It's snowing hard where I am. I'm in Laurel by the Target store off 202. Boss said help. That's where I am. In the meantime, let me just show you a piece of videotape. Uh, this is a significant accident I ran into on the Beltway earlier today. A truck rolled over. The truck driver actually credited with saving the lives of the motorist, although it cost him tipping over the truck. Listen to the, some of the stories I heard there. Oh, but my car is spun out of control. I was in the first lane, and then it just went to the right lane, and the tractor trailer moved to try to not hit me and hit the Altima. Yeah, it happened really quick. I was just driving. I'm going, I pulled it on my way to work, and it just spun out in the two lanes. I know, I'm a little sick, and that was my first accident. I didn't see the car, like, lose control. It was already sideways when I seen her across the two lanes. So then my only choice was to swerve around to the left, and once I swerved, I lost control and tipped on me. Accidents happen, so, I mean, but I'm just glad I didn't hit anybody and no one was seriously hurt because that would have been worse. All right, so proof on the outer loop of the beltway. To so, first he was locked out. I just now, took a picture of him, by the way. now he's frozen. <laughs> We're it's gonna have been to tweet quite, that it's out. It's been quite a day for Scott. We actually thought that was a joke at first. I, but he was knocking was, on the window. I was like, he's doing some good acting, isn't he? But this he's for real locked out, and the car is running right now. This so might actually be a first. Um, I think it might be. Newsroom. Are we gonna go back to him, Scott? Are you, are you unfrozen? <laughs> Can you hear us? He's still not. Are you still knocking on the? <laughs> oh, you are. Uh, That's great. Yeah, okay, yeah. So sorry, my gear got frozen. I can't do anything about it because I can't get in there. Anyway, all right, um, like I said, bad things happen on the road. This is a little less bad thing that's happened to me. And uh, there is a spare set of keys in northwest Washington, and I'm in Largo. So, oh, my goodness uh, I guess gracious. I'm going to be standing out here in the snow for a while. No, we're going to get dressed for it. Yeah, we'll check in with you in about uh, 15 minutes, we're buddy, just to make sure you're still keys. okay. We're going to get some keys uh, to you. That was, that was It might take a couple comedy. hours, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> hang in there. <laughs> make yourself an igloo. All right, Scott. All right. Much of the district is shut down today.